Good morning, Philly Raiders. How are you? I hope that you are very well at home and having a great time with your family. Today's lesson, we're going to uh, learn about uh, how does synology mimic living things. This is a topic of interactive science. You have to go to page 240 and 245. You will be working on this section of the book, okay? So the objective is that you will learn how can technology can mimic a muscular and skeletal system. And for that, I want you to investigate about the next question. Please investigate and write on your book or on a notebook this question so it can be a little bit more easier to you, okay? What is a prosthetic limb? What is a prosthetic limb? Okay, if you're ready, let's go. Okay, kids, open your book on page 241, and the topic is technology and the human body. I'm going to be reading with you, okay? One, two, three. The human body is an amazing structure. Engineers sometimes use scientific knowledge of how the body works to develop uh, technologies. Some of the technologies help people whose bodies do not function as they should. Uh, some technologies do tasks that are too dangerous for people. Technologies that have moving parts can be like the human body. A robot is one of these technologies. Robots can have a body structure and movable joints which are similar to the human skeletal and muscular system. Robotic technologies use an electrical energy source to help them move. The human body uses energy from food to help it move. Robots have a sensor system and a computer to control movements in the human body. The brain and nervous system help to control movement. On, on page 241, there is question number one there below that uh, the facts and the uh, text that we just read. Uh, the question is, how do you think this robot looks like you? Take a look to the picture and answer. But at this time, I'm going to help you answer the questions, okay? Possible answers are, it has a jaw that opens and shuts like my jaw. Do you know what it's a jaw? This one here. This is a jaw. The robot has one and moves likes you. Okay, on page 242, the topic is prosthetic limbs. Robotic technology that mimics movements of the human body is also used to make a prosthetic limb move. A prosthetic limb is an artificial arm, hand, leg, or foot that replaces a missing one, modern prosthetic limbs can be controlled by electrical signals from the brain. Past prosthetic hands and had few fingers and could not do many things. Today they have a thumb and four fingers that are controlled individually. These prosthetic hands can turn a key, pick up small objects and hold a glass. Current prosthetic legs and feet allow their users to walk and even run. As technology advances, prosthetic legs and feet work more like real legs and feet. The latest prosthetic limbs also look more like real limbs. Okay guys, we, uh, after we wrote the text about uh, prosthetic limbs, we have a question right down below that it says, how does prosthetic limbs help people? 
Pause for the answer. Remember that I said that I'm, I was going to uh, help you answer, okay? A possible answer, you can answer another thing that you think, but I'm going to help you, okay? Prosthetic limbs help people with missing limbs walk or pick up things. The second question uh, right there on page 242 is, how are these runners prosthetic legs similar to the legs of the other runners? Possible answers. Again, you can answer your question, but I, this time I'm going to help you, okay? The prosthetic legs move like the other runners. That's a, an answer that I can give you and it can help you understand the question. Now go to page 244, and the topic is animals and technology. I'm going to read with you, okay? Some technologies mimic the muscular and skeletal systems of animals. These systems help animals to move in different ways. The wings and tails of birds help the birds fly. Fish have muscular and skeletal systems that help them swim. Airplanes have parts that mimic the, the wings and tails of birds like the wings and tails of birds airplane wings and tails can be adjusted to control how the airplane moves some robots can also fly the robotic bat flaps its wings and flies like a bat it can search collapsed building buildings and other areas people cannot get to. Some robots used to explore the ocean have parts that mimic the muscular and skeletal system of fish. Scientists use robotic animals to study the behavior of real animals. A robotic squirrel makes noise and moves its tail like a real squirrel. It can be placed in an in a area where real squirrels live. A real squirrel may wiggle its tail and make noises at the robotic squirrel. Scientists can use this information to learn how squirrels communicate with one another. Now let's answer the question of page 244, okay? It says, why do scientists use robotic squirrels to help study real squirrels? Okay, you can answer your, your with your own words, but I'm going to give you an answer. If, if you can use it, use it, okay? The robotic squirrel will not frighten the real squirrel. Scientists who study real squirrel, squirrels in their habitat. Okay kids, now go to page 245 and the topic is nanobots. Let's read. How can you build a robot that is only a few billions of a meter long? Scientists hope to be able to build these tiny robots using nanotechnology. Scientists have found ways to, to move one atom at a time. They hope to be able to use this technology to build tiny robots or nanobots that can perform all kind, kinds of tasks. One idea is to use nanobots inside the human body. Nanobots may be able to deliver medications better than current methods. Scientists are also researching how to make a nanobot that can remove cholesterol from the walls of arteries. Okay, now we go to the question. Let's answer the question about nanobots. How do you think nanobots might be useful? Okay, now again, you can answer by your own words, but I'm going to help you with an answer. Nanobots might be used to remove 
cancer or other disease. Now to finish our lesson, I'm going to leave you alone with question number seven and number eight, okay? You have to uh, read again the, the whole lesson so you can answer these two questions. But if you have uh, some problems, just send me a message through the platform and I will be glad to help you, okay? So, goodbye, take care, and blessings to everyone. Bye.